Hello, what is up with you guys? My name is Amira and Hello, what's up everyone? My name is Amira and welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to do something really really fun. Trust me, every time I tell a person like, "Okay, let's do something fun." My voice drops. I'm honestly excited, but it's not obvious on my face. Other people will be like, Oh my god, let's do something fun! I'm so excited! And I will be like, let's do something fun. This face. Seriously, I am not being rude or anything. I'm actually being serious. I'm actually being excited. Like, deep inside, there were tons of silhouettes. And tons of fireworks and all those exploding shes that's coming out of the concert of One Direction. Anyway, enough about that. Today I'm going to do a review. Well, not the review for exams, because our school year for grade 8, just for this year, starts still, starts on August. So, uh, so everyone who is having the classes on June 13, including my brother. Good luck. Um, if you guys haven't seen my post... I posted a photo, like, photo, I posted a photo of my, the very first album I ever, ever bought on Instagram. I forgot exactly when, I think it was in October or November 2015, and it was one of the best days of my life. Uh, my father bought it for me as a surprise, and, um, actually, it, it was actually very worth it. So, I'm going to reveal it. It's... My 1989 album, yes, by Taylor Swift. So, uh, really, practically my, my father bought this album, but still, I love it. I, I love to lick it, you know? I love to put, rub it in, in my face, in my cheeks, just in case Taylor touched it, or sniffed it, or even farted on it, or just in case she was talking and her saliva just... Please don't report this video. I'm going to show you guys this 1989 it's really amazing it includes actually 19 tracks all of it I kept going to the store the album store in SM Rosario and I saw I was I was so excited because you know I was like oh yay finally all of the albums because when I was younger I was never exactly a fan of any singer or a band and I wasn't that interested in buying albums, but for the first time in forever, I was so in love with this album just by staring at it. But I couldn't open it yet. It was basically covered. I couldn't exactly open it. I asked the cashier, the lady working in there, like, Can you please show me the 1989 album by Taylor Swift? And I was looking like, oh my god, oh my god, this is the best thing in my life. What? And she was like, okay then. And she was giving me the look, like, are you going to buy it? Because if not, I'm, go I'm not going to show it to you. But I, honestly, I wasn't going to buy it because I haven't had any savings yet. Uh, sorry, I don't know the exact lyrics. Wait, does that song even have any lyrics? Anyway, I'm going to show it to you guys. I was crying. Uh, I was so happy when my dad bought me this. So thank you so much, dad. I'm actually being sincere. I'm being obviously very hyper right now. I have no idea why. Stop spamming me. And th this is the deluxe vel vel version. We've got 13 tracks. Welcome to New York. Blank space style. Out of the woods. All you had to do was stay. Shake it off. I wish you would. Uh, bad blood. Wildest dreams. How you get the girl. This love. I know places. And clean. And it includes three bonus tracks which is called Wonderland. You are in love. And you romantics. So, Taylor had released tons of music videos for 1989, which is obviously a really good blessing. Also, it, it includes three songwriting voice memos, which is I Know Places, the piano vocal track, I Wish You Would track and vocal, and Blank Space guitar and vocal. So, those, everything in this album was literally amazing. I loved it, so I started playing it on my old laptop, and I was so happy. You know this these voice memos they were one of the best parts of this album because I could actually hear her laughing and talking normally like, and while she was making the song I think she was with other people I forgot the name I'm really sorry and 
it's just amazing like you just hear her talking and I was like oh my god her voice is so good can I listen to it 24 7 and I'm going to open it now I'm going to stop talking here is a cover of the album it's really nice it looks really good and um, big machine records I'm going to open it for you guys oh my god it almost fell Ta -da. I hope I don't get sued for this this is just anyway an album review so as you can see we've got the CD which looks really really good like wow and basically I could show I could show you incredible things everything you know what when I first saw this album I knew that it was going to be really really worth it to buy and it was absolutely absolutely loved it I really love how the CD looks like I'm not going to show everything I don't know if I'm allowed to but I don't know about you guys but there's a hidden message got, got the album I don't know I think it's all just the same because I ordered here in the Philippines I don't know if you guys have another additional tracks or something but there are actually stuff written in here put in here when she was making the song and why is my voice beginning to sound raspy I've got also photos <clears throat> photos from Taylor so she's got like Polaroids in this and it's really good and uh, it's so cute and I know you heard about me is obviously from blank space <clears throat> sorry this one is rose garden fielded thorns It's obviously from blank space as well really nice photo this one is just because you're clean does it don't mean you don't miss it obviously from clean love it I think I am finally clean obviously from clean is this supposed to be when the sun came up you were looking at me it's from out of the woods my favorite as well um so hey let's be friends i'm dying to see how this one ends it's from blank space we were built to fall apart they fall back together out of the woods i absolutely love that music video i'm going to leave a link in the description for that this one is when i was drowning that's when i could finally breathe that is clean i think and this one you took a polaroid of us is from out of the woods was it yes these are all of the Polaroids, and actually, I have two more, but I put the other the other two in my diary. But I'm going to show you only one of my diary, so I put one here, which is my favorite, which is the nice to meet you where you've been. So this is my diary. This is, well, no shame. The very first part of my diary is Taylor Swift, and the very last, of course, is Taylor Swift as well. So, um... The album is really amazing. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Taylor Swift, you did a great job. And um, I'm honestly a really big fan of her. If you are going to ask me what is my favorite track off the 1989 album, I would probably say Out of the Woods and Wildest Dreams. They are amazing. Oh, this is the best album in the pretty much all I can show you. I don't know if I could show you the entire album, but I don't want to spoil everything for you. I swear, if you want to buy this album, if you are planning, do it. JUST DO IT! Anyway, in the end, I gave up. I'm going to show you this. Ta-da! Of course, me! When I first saw this album, I was like, okay, maybe there are hidden messages in here. I've got 1989. You get it from here. And, um... As you can see, it's like a small book where in a tons of stuff I put. Really lovely. I wish I could have an album someday and it would be like this. I mean, not exactly like this, but with tons of hidden stuff, you know, fun stuff. Like if you keep looking around and flipping the pages and watching it upside down, you're going to find something written. You are amazing. Forward. We've got the forward in here. I am not going to read it because I don't know if I could. Also, it's a new soundtrack. It's a new soundtrack. I could dance with this beat. Beat forevermore. I love this picture of her. It's amazing. These Polaroids are amazing. So they've also got lyrics of the songs like Welcome to New York, Black Space. I'm being bit And uh, with the writers. And it said Welcome to New York. This is one of the reasons why I want to move into New York for some reason lyrics obviously and style and when she wrote it i got that and i got that red lip classic thing that you like it's written in here 
she wrote, I think, finished writing, I'm not sure, February 19, 2014, with, you know, also, Shake It Off, she wrote it with Max Johan Swifty, February 15, 2014, I really love the fact that, you know, she actually has tons of passion for her career, for her singing, and we've got Emojin's Grammy and a tea kettle, February 9, 2014. Congratulations to Emojin. Say you remember me, standing in an ice staring at the sunset bay. Anyway, this one, when you're young, you just run, but when you come, but you come back to what you need. That. And this one is Anna Places, which she wrote with Ryan Tedder from the band One Republic. Did I get it right? Yep. January 22, 2014, and this one is Imogen plus me, which is her, she, they wrote clean on February 9, 2014, so um, thank you so much guys for watching this video, if you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, so also, make sure to comment down below what your favorite song from 1989 is and why, I love asking why, because you know, obviously you like that song, there must be a reason behind it. So, I'm really sorry if the lighting is so bad and if my brother keeps rambling in the background. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I really, really love this album. Seriously, Taylor, I can't wait for your next album. If you are planning to buy this, buy it. Anyway, bye, and see you in the next video. This is Amira, and...